Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here at my favorite thrift store. After being like two months back from Europe, I'm finally going to the thrift store. I haven't gone in literally like, feels like five months because the thrifting wasn't really good out there in London. So finally back at my thrift store. I've been hesitant on going just because I haven't really been in the mood, but I finally got some inspiration and I think I'm gonna go in today. And the only day that I really wanna go is Fridays because they have like really good Sales. It's like an extra 30% off and then they have 250% off colors and then I have these coupons that is because I donated I get $5 off. So with that being said, I'm going to go in the thrift store and hopefully find some really cute items. I'm kind of looking for just like really cute blouses, some night pants and I kind of just want to like revamp up my wardrobe after coming back from Europe. I'm like really needing to step up my game I feel like. It's such a different vibe from California to Europe. Europe, so I kind of brought that European vibe back with me and I definitely think my closet is lacking my new style that I want to obtain so I'm just gonna go in there looking for just really cute things that will go with my new wardrobe that I'm trying to attract I guess I would say so without further ado let's get into the thrift store I am so excited I haven't been here in forever so yeah so let's go in. Okay, so I have a couple sweaters that I'm going to try on. Got like a lot of black jackets, leather jackets. So I'm just gonna try them on in this mirror real quick and see which ones I can eliminate and which ones I should keep. So, hold on. Okay, I had to put my hair in a braid and then I realized that I left the rubber band. Okay, so my camera's gonna die. Okay, so this is the next sweater. It's cute. It's like the like knitted quilted sweater and it kind of reminds me of like the Burberry. It's just not fitting right because this sweater literally has like a whole bunch of other sweaters so it's just really annoying. I'm like kind of getting frustrated. But I do like it maybe with like another top. Okay, so I do like this leather jacket and I like how it's long because the last one that I tried was really short and so I do like the length in this. The only thing is it's pretty expensive compared to that one because this one's half off. And the thing about this one was it has shoulder pads so maybe i could just cut those off and then it will be the same fit now this one i just feel like it's a little too big i mean my hands get like lost in it so okay so this is the last one and i feel like it fits the best the only thing is it's like 40 dollars compared to 12 dollars and I don't want to spend more than, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see though, but. So it's a between and then for sure this one, because it was just really pretty. So my camera's gonna die. Yo. Hey guys, it's like a week later from when I first started initially filming, I guess, from the thrift videos. So out of my element and I'm at my boyfriend's house, that's why. So I feel like in the living room and it's a little weird. But let's just get into what I picked up at the thrift store and like break down the prices and what I got it for and everything like that. So mm, the first thing that I got 
when I was there was this pillow and it kind of reminded me of an Urban Outfitters pillow. It's something that they would sell there and it would probably be like $60 for this one pillow. And it's for sure vintage because it has a tag. I don't know if you could see, but it's like a vintage tag and it says ITR. So I didn't look into that brand yet, but I thought it was really pretty because it's a really pretty color. It matches my like room, like aesthetic that I'm going for, I guess. And then it has like cute little like pearl detailing and it's just like a cute star that I could just place on my bed. I'm trying to collect more pillows, like throw pillows for my bed and just like in my chairs and my room and stuff. So yeah, I think that this is a really pretty collection and it also has like really pretty detailing on the sides too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like so pretty and it's like really soft. All I have to do is wash it. So I got this for $2.99 and I think that it was 50% off because they have two colors. So it was blue that day and then I think it was orange. And so $2.99, 50% off. So I got this for $1.50 and it's really pretty. And I feel like, I don't know, like I would buy it at Urban Outfitters for like $60. So a dollar is pretty crazy. So I'm really happy I got that. The next thing that I bought was just this vintage black trench coat, leather trench coat. When I was in London, I was trying to find one, but they were like so expensive. So I just like opted to not get one because it's also heavy and I would, I would need to have shipped it back and I was already running low on like my space. So I bought one here um, way cheaper than what it would have been in London and it's vintage and the fit of it, it just fits so perfectly on me. It was like literally made for me and worn in so it's not that hard like structured leather it's more of like a loose very worn in leather and i kind of like that it even on the sleeves some parts of the sleeves like it looks worn and so i like that it did have shoulder pads but i cut them out already i just feel like with shoulder pads it makes me look so much more broader so i just cut all shoulder pads out that's like my first rule of thrifting is cut all shoulder pads so I believe I lost the tag to this. So this was $24.99, but it was 50% off because it was the blue tag. So it ended up becoming, it was $24.99 and then I got 50% off. So it was only $12.50. And I think that I was gonna pay like literally like a hundred plus like for a leather jacket at like the vintage stores in London. And I thought that was pretty ridiculous because I don't know, I could buy a leather jacket for $12 in the United States. So I just waited until I was able to come and get it. Sorry the lighting's bad, like I had to do like makeshift lighting. I tried to film this like way earlier in the day, but it took me long to get ready. And then I went to go get dinner with my dad and then I'm going to Disneyland like in 30 minutes. So I'm trying to film this like so I could post it already, I guess because it's been already a week since I've had these clothes sitting in my car and I wanna wear them. So I'm just gonna record this video like super fast. I'm here at my boyfriend's and this is the lighting that I have. So bear with me. The next thing that I got was this, this cute like just jacket and it's like made out of leather. It's 80% leather and then the inside is rayon and it's vintage. It's a brand called SMH and oh that's funny SMH so funny okay anyways so yeah and it has like the really cool thing about this is like it has like stitching like stitching with all like patchwork stitching and I think it's really really pretty and it fits it fits so good it's just like made for me I guess and it's very long too and on the bottom which I love like it has the slit at the back I feel like that just gives it a little bit more extra like detailing that makes it kind of more feminine so that's one thing and I got this for $4.99, so $5 for this beautiful vintage leather jacket. Like, I don't know, I'm really happy. This is the one, one of my favorite things that I got out of this thrift trip, and it will be in my wardrobe and in my essentials for sure, especially coming fall or like passing fall and entering in spring. I feel like this is super um, open, like you can wear it throughout the seasons, so yeah. Super, super happy I got this. And for $5, pretty crazy. The next thing that I got was the just cami, this 
sleep cami lingerie cami and it's from a brand called california dynasty i got this for 99 cents and it's just an open, it opens in the front. I envision it with like a t-shirt, a white t-shirt under and then just having this with jeans on and some booties and I think that that would be really, really cute. And it just has this open detailing and I think that the flowers is just so pretty, the details on the flowers and then just the ruching at the bottom is just really, really pretty. So I got that for $1.99 and the color, it's not picking it up on the camera, but it's a very like baby blue purple color. So I'm excited to wear this. I think it's gonna be super, super pretty come springtime. Um, and it was super cheap, so yeah, steal. Okay, so the next thing that I got was this um, wrap around like kind of reminds me of like how people are wearing scarves um, t-shirt it's from Zara so and it says it's made in Morocco that's pretty cool and I love how like the the string in the back is like opened and it has detail in two I got this for $1.99 $1.99 so two dollars for a Zara tee I don't think that you can go wrong and it's a halter and I think that just wearing this with like some really really cute jeans and like some sandals, like brown sandals, strappy sandals. You could wear booties, like this is so, you could dress this up and down. Like I think that this is gonna be so like essential in my wardrobe. And yeah, I think it's really, really pretty. I love that. Oh yeah, and I, I got big. The next thing is this Victoria's Secret cami too. Like you just tie it in the front and again, I'm just kind of envisioning it with a white t-shirt under, and then just having this in on top of it. Um, I mean, if you can pull it off with like not wearing anything under, go for it. Kudos for you, but I'm not there. Um, so I would picture myself like just with a white t-shirt, some jeans, and some Stan Smiths or some Adidas or something like that. And I think that would be really, really cute. Um, this one was a little bit expensive, I think because the brand is Victoria's Secret and it looked like it had the tag still. So they charged $7.99 and that was 20% off because what they do is they do 20% off the entire purchase, I guess. Yeah, so 20% off the entire purchase just after four on Fridays. So that's why I typically go on Fridays. But yeah, so I thought this was cute. The detailing is really, the lace is really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see that on my hand, but it's just really pretty and I think it would become essential in like the coming season and I could wear it with just like anything so easy outfit to wear so the next thing that I got was this 89th and Madison sweater and it just I feel like something that you would see in brandy or something and so it's just like an open it has one clasp here and it's like that and I think that the scooping too like at holes at the bottom and the top is really pretty and it's a really pretty baby blue color so I'm hoping that uh, this looks nice. I'm thinking of wearing it with like mom jeans. Oh, I'm looking super, super green. I don't know why I'm looking green. I don't know. I'm just gonna move on. Anyways, so it's just really cute. I think that I would wear it with like um, mom jeans and then just some boots. Just some really classy boots. So a super easy essential to wear. I got this for $4.99 and then the, tw actually I got this for uh, $2.50 because it was blue tag and it was 50% off. So it looks like it still had the tags on it, but the tags got ripped off. So this is probably new. Um, and I think I wanted to wear this to Disneyland tonight, but it's fine. I could wear it tomorrow. So the next thing that I got was this just vintage button up. It's like a collared button down um, t-shirt but the detailing kind of looks like worn in leather and I think that it really looks nice and I love the color. The, co the lighting right now is so bad so you're not going to grab the color but just envision it looking really nicer than what it looks like now. So yeah. So yeah, this one, this brand is Golden Grove and it's 100% polyester. And yeah, I was just thinking like of tying it like at the bottom, the last two buttons, just tying it with some mom jeans and then wearing um, kind of any kind of shoes, really. Like you could really wear any shoes. So yeah, it's just a pretty basic shirt. I just thought that I don't have anything like this, so might as well add it into my collection. And I'm trying to clear out my closet so I can get more, I guess, staple pieces. That way I don't have to go buy like other things that I feel like are replayed over and over and over. So yeah, I don't think anybody will have this 
shirt because for sure is vintage and yeah I really like it and this was $2.99 and the last thing that I got in this thrift haul was just the neon green turtleneck t-shirt and it's from the brand YMLA um, I got this for $2.99 and it's just really cute because the collar it feels really good and the material or the collar just kind of fits perfectly where I would want like my collar to go I guess on a turtleneck that way I could hang necklaces like gold necklaces and it not go back in and then not be so tight where it like suffocates me. Yeah, this is perfect. Um, and the material is really nice too. It's very cooling. It's 90% acetate and then 10% spandex. And so it's like that super stretchy material. And I think that the color is super springtime and I would just wear it with like mom jeans, literally just mom jeans. And then again, boots and then probably some like necklaces and stuff like that. And it's just like really cute and and very flattering it fits kind of like really nicely so where it's not like too tight where it can show all your lumps and bumps and stuff but and not too like loose where it's like it just looks like a potato sack over you it literally fits really well and it stops where it needs to stop sucking you in got that for 2 dollars I'm really happy with it so that's everything that I got in this thrift haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you liked any certain things or if you have a good thrift store that you like to go to i'm down to kind of go wherever i think the next thrift store i want to go to is definitely try the the bins like the goodwill outlet so i don't know maybe i'll do that and i know it's super super cheaper i haven't been to like the bins since literally i was probably five and i remember going with my mom and i remember i don't know if you guys remember like those little like they were like kind of like coasters like small coasters or pogs like i just remember finding so much of those in the bins and i just wanted them and i just remember my mom getting them so that's a little story <laughs> and yeah so i've been going coaching for a really long time which is now i'm actually an adult and i kind of so i do it more for the sustainability but then i also do it because it doesn't break the bank but yet i'm still having my itch scratched for shopping i'm for sure a shopaholic i know that for a fact and when I go thrifting, I don't feel as bad because I'm walking out with like 20 bucks of clothes and it's like in two trash bags. But that's the one thing that I like about thrifting and honestly, I don't see me wearing the same thing that millions of people are getting. Um, don't get me wrong, I think that like clothing brands and stuff are super, super cute. It's just it's expensive <laughs> to shop for all the new trends and stuff. So I definitely like going thrifting and finding one of a kind pieces and stuff like that. So I do want to try and check out outlets, I guess. That's where I was going with the story. And so yeah, let me know if you guys wanted to see that or if you have any other ideas of videos, I'm down to see what you guys have in store. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how long this Splash Mountain's five minutes. Okay, should we just go on that? Alright, change of plans are going on Splash.